Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 437. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Upset link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 431 to 439. Hey, in Trick 437, 38, and 39, we're going to talk about counting work days. We're going to see the net work day function, which works when weekends are on Saturday and Sunday, and then we'll see a way to get around that, which gets uh, pretty difficult um, if, your Saturday, if your weekends aren't on Saturday and Sunday. And then we'll see an amazing function in 2010, which solves uh, the problem that people have had for many years of counting work dates. That'll be uh, 439. All right, the uh, net work days equals net work days. Here's the deal. We have a start date and an end date and a list of holidays. If we have that situation, it's just very easy to count your net working days. Start date, we're going to click right there. Uh, relative cell reference, comma. End date, I'm going to click right there, comma. And the holidays, I'm going to highlight all the way down here just in case I add or subtract some. Uh, and I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it going down. Close parentheses, and that's it. That's the workday function. One, two, start, end, and holidays, and it will do the job. Uh, totally amazing, common tasks that people need to do. Uh, when we come back in our next video, we'll do a nasty array formula. Oh, uh, no, it's not that nasty, and it's not an array, but it's it's got a bunch of parts to it and some complicated, a couple complicated parts, and then we'll see uh, the new function in 2010. All right, see you next trick.